Hi everyone, I'm in Hex, and welcome to another episode of Outer Wilds. So here we are at the beginning of another loop. I think this time we'll probably just go straight to the launch tower to give us as much time as possible exploring the system. So we'll quickly do that. happening in the sky at the moment. Put my suit on. Okay. Get into the right spot to get into the chair. There we are. Now, I should probably finish the ruins here at home on the planet I start on. I'm not sure if I found everything in the ruins the first time I was there because I was rudely interrupted by the timeline being reset. some kind of landing platform down there. So we might as well try and land on it, I think. Switch to the landing cam. And if I'm off center, the geysers are gonna push me back up. So I just need to be in the right spot, I think. down safely. Okay, I definitely remember this. See if I can actually get across without falling down this time. There we go. Okay, translation time. When I can get the right spot. I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Isn't this the ore? <laughs> I'll have to wait till I settle. Okay, isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on the Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are surprisingly big. I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber hearths ore for the constructing the shell only. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to a point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. All of this ore is for the shell. I hope they measured the shield's area and planned accordingly. I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Coleus. How else would he improve? And that looks like it. Okay, so that's some of the ore they're talking about. Looks 
very much like some kind of elevator. I guess they were loading the ore in to be taken up. this room again. We might as well have a look at the mask people again, see if we can learn any more this time. I mean, is it a virtual reality projection or is it a communication device? That's the question, I guess. Ash Twin Projection Stone. So, it seems to be like a communication device. I am being virtually transported to another spot on one of the other planets, the Ash Twin, it seems. So, if I go to Ash Twin, I should be able to find a room where I see these masks. I guess it's a clue. And only two of them appear to be active, though it's difficult to tell. A slot for uh, let me see a message. That's odd. I'm sure there was one just lying around here somewhere. Everything in the time loop resets. Or I'm blind, that could be the other thing. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I missed something that was right in front of me. Let's see if we can get into this. Oh, it doesn't want me to. I mean, it's definitely an upward force, but doesn't like me trying to join it at this point. Possibly I don't have enough velocity for it to lift me. And I need to be accelerated by the lower part for it to work. A bit tricky, really. Just make sure I haven't missed anything here. Well, we've established one thing, the Nomai speak the same language we did. Sorry, we do. Or did speak the same language that we do. Otherwise, puns wouldn't work. Down we go. Sure, it's water down the bottom. Don't think I damaged the suit. So, okay, that comes in. I guess carries the ore up, and we should go all the way up this time. No, just to here. Hmm, okay. is actually damage, or at least it wasn't the first bit. Just a uh, red light. Do you get worried though when you see red? Red tint. Okay, time to take off. Should time it one of these days just how long I do have before 
the time loop resets each time. anything on Timber Hearth that I don't think I've visited or is part of something I've visited. Let's see. Brittle Hollow. The Interloper. Giant's Deep. The Hourglass Twins, Dark Bramble. Brittle Hollow is where all our clues are leading us, so I should head there. And we'll engage the autopilot and see what it does. see what's going on unfortunately we don't seem to have the right orientation perfect let's see what we can see it appears to be another landing pad there structure of some kind. Whoa. Oh, that's very much looks like a black hole. And oh, no, here's, some, here's something interesting. been here before. I think the ship's stable, so we'll get out. I must have a look at the ship's log one of these days. It does say it's collecting some of this information. And because it's no my technology, it doesn't seem to be susceptible to the time loop. Do I need to check that? So it looks like a door. What have we got? Some kind of portable beacon running off power from inside. Is it some kind of ship? Okay. Bit of a translation. I can work out the right way to do it. Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate, so it was an escape pod. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? No, I... I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear other... the other two escape pods distress signals. However, if it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. So I guess that's what this machine is. Looks like we can get inside at the top. Some 
resistance okay so it's different gravity inside oh no it's hard to tell some kind of pods maybe places for passengers to sit in the escape pod okay so it's this text machine collision imminent preparing for impact that's the third one down there we go. It's launching escape pod three launching escape pod two now launching escape pod one okay third fourth scanning external environment scan complete minor structural instabilities detected pockets of breathable air detected adequate solar energy detected verdict hospitable Okay, the first one is escape pod one. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Okay, so it's the ship's log, I guess. And that's the main console for the ship. Or escape pod. Escape hatch for the escape pod. It's like somewhere I can stand. Oh no! No, 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 no. Not the black hole. Let's see if we can avoid slow down enough. Ah, oh, it's not gonna be good. Oops! <laughs> I guess we have to start again. interesting it was the mask rather than the statue that we saw <gasps> and here we are I think I will just go and have a look at that statue. See if it actually does anything different now. Seems to be one of the only things that's independent of the time loop, so maybe it's changed because of the things that I've done on previous loops. I mean, each time it resets, it almost seems like it's collecting my memories, the way everything sort of winds back in a big flashback in my mind. Or mind's eye, I guess. I think the museum is this way. Oh, here's that waterfall. No, there doesn't appear to be any way out there. Or anywhere else for that matter. Here's the statue. Now he wasn't there the first time I came in. It was only the young boy. Hornfells. Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? Sigh. Me too. Okay, so something has changed. I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with this statue. Was there something you needed? Where are the other travellers? Well, let's see. Church is in the Argus. Twins. Ryback is on Brittle Hollow. And Gabro is on Giant's Deep. And there's Feldspar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they are, or if they're even still alive. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. Was there something you needed? Tell me more about Feldspar. Feldspar was the four founding members of Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach Gossen, Slate the Engineer, and me. As ground control and later museum cur curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gossen did. I can tell you that Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though nothing scared them. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. I, it's a wonder Feldspar ever lived to see sorry lived to see space. Frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything. 
And then one day they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened or where Feldspar went or whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since they left. Okay, I think we're finished. See if the boy says anything different. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut launch day at last, huh, buddy? Okay, it's all the same things that he said the first time. I'm just going to skip through them. Of course, I'm going to give all the responses because I don't want to be rude. way for me to interact with it directly here. Still a little bit odd, I guess it's just a bit of... Uh extra colour having those logs there. Or maybe it's part of some kind of solution that I don't know about. I guess it's takeoff time. Except This, yeah, I want to talk to the guy who talked about cutting down the tree because the guy who found the alien seed said he was going to come and get this guy. So maybe if I can tell him to go to where the seed is early, it will somehow change the time loop. But it doesn't seem like he's saying anything different to what he said the first time or I'm able to give any kind of different information to him. So that's not it. I am recording the voiceover for these after playing, so sometimes I forget what I was doing at the time. I was a bit mystified as to where I went. I thought I'd finished in the village. It does look a little bit like a bridge, but it's just uh, an illusion, unfortunately. Okay, now I think we're getting back into the ship, yes. Okay, off we go. I think we probably need to head back to Brittle Hollow. Finish our exploration there. Try and get into the centre without uh, dying would be really good. Oh! Okay. I probably shouldn't have trusted that I was far enough away from the planet there. I seem to have fallen while I was in map mode. to try out repairing the ship for real this time. Shouldn't be terribly difficult. Yes, nice and easy. And it's all on the lower side of the ship as well, which is good. I'm not going to have to try and get up to the top or anything. Yes, the benefits of crashing down into something. 
<laughs> Gotta find a silver lining, haven't you? Sorry, the map is a little bit fiddly. So there's our target. Now, should be able to just take off the autopilot when I'm far enough up. Which is what I've just done. It seems to be working. I think this first time though, it couldn't cope with the, the sun in the middle of the system and that it being in the way of my course. Which can be a little bit of a problem, as you can see. I don't think this ship is probably designed to get this close to the sun. By all rights, I should have <laughs> fried completely just then. Yes, we did, didn't we? Oh, okay. There go the twins. Maybe they're different. That must be part of the machine. Or a machine, it appears. The machine to find the eye. Now, what is the eye? This is the question. Did... We have an escape pod. Three escape pods from the ship. But it's the only information we've found is about one of the escape pods. Then we have some talk of building a machine to find something called the eye sometime later. Was the eye the way? to this system? Is this something strange about this system that's preventing them from going home? I mean, it's certainly a very strange system, but who knows if it's supposed to be this way in this universe or this region of the universe even. seem to have caught out the centers of all of the planets in the system. Do you wonder what purpose the little sun that fires lava balls serves though? Unless it's some kind of malfunction. Intended consequence of leaving the machine running with nobody controlling it for a long time. I can't imagine they designed it to be firing lumps of lava. I suspect it was supposed to be aligned to a particular part of the machine and it would fire them in as some kind of energy source for it. But it's all gone out of alignment. That could in fact be my job, in terms of the quest to actually get it all working again. That looks like another landing pad in the centre. It's odd though, why would they make it so difficult? I mean, that's uh, quite narrow at the top, certainly narrower than it is at the bottom. I 
guess I'll have to risk it. If I can't find any more steps down, it doesn't look like there are any. Just gotta be uh, ready to hit the boost, I think. And I'm not falling from quite as great a height. I was close to the black hole, so hopefully that'll help a little. God, I went towards it. Here we are. We made it down. Uh, what is this? Ah, okay. It's a sign. <laughs> I just knocked it over. Well, there you go. Oh, look, it rebuilt itself. Southern Observatory. Okay. So, I assume that's where that path leads. sign. The crossroads. Lots of lights. The shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. Activate the gravity can. Call the shuttle home. Okay, so it's a big control system. Let's try bringing the shuttle home. And there we have a shuttle. Okay. Let's go and have a look inside. hoping it's the people that are missing, that they somehow got into the ship and went somewhere, though why, why they would still be in the ship at this stage. They would have had to leave the ship, I imagine, unless they had food, but no, there's nobody here anyway. I am here, after watching it wander the skies for so long, I am about to stand for the first time on the quantum. My excitement is so great, I could combust. I, before I step outside the shuttle, here are my reflections. I have learned that wandering quantum moons in school and those who came before me, from those who came before me, I visited each of the quantum shards and learned what they had to teach me. I am ready. Quantum shards. So is this universe a quantum shard? Is that why all of the physical laws are so strange? as far as uh, orbital mechanics and things go. Okay, a control panel of some kind. That doesn't seem to do anything. Well, that does. No, obvious control. Okay, that brought me back. Like a homing sequence. Yeah, I'm definitely back. Um, I think it's the same place. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, okay. Looks like the same place anyway. Okay. Well, we have to try it again. doesn't seem to do anything. We're definitely going somewhere. I'm a little bit worried because I can't control it. doesn't seem to be... yeah... It 
Sorry, I'm a little bit mystified. As you can probably hear in my voice. And it's returned me. What I didn't think of when I was actually doing this was letting the shuttle go all the way to wherever it was programmed to go. I think I'll have to try that next episode. I think I was assuming that this was the quantum moon they were talking about. Someone was arriving here from somewhere else. But I may have got that completely backwards. Virtual reality. Okay, the brittle hollow projection stone. I don't think I've seen this place. This must be inside that dome. Just got to find the way in there. Must be significant in some way. Possibly if somebody was there I would be able to speak to them. I can't discern any kind of function though, unless it's some kind of power plant. I guess this is the way I could have come in safely from the surface. <laughs> like a little park area with some benches to sit on. They were obviously here for some time. seem to have died here as well. And there was nobody to bury them, so there was some kind of disaster. Don't see anything I could put in to actually read on the screen there. getting better at that. Or I'm not jumping so close to the black hole. I think we've found everything here. Firing the gravity cannon. I guess that just means launching the shuttle. So somebody else could launch me rather than me initiating it from inside. Oh, that looks suspiciously like a time loop reset.
So I know where I'm going next time. I'm coming straight back here and getting in the shuttle and seeing where it takes me. It's probably a good place to end today's episode. Once I finally end up back in my body here. And here I am back again. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you on the next episode.